Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mavricon here, and I'm here to let you know I'm going to be starting my first Pokemon Nuzlocke randomizer here soon. And here are the rules. Alright, so as you guys have probably already heard before, if you wound up finding this through any kind of like a Pokemon search or anything like that, uh, Nuzlocke's pretty common. Uh, it's basically just a way to make a Pokemon game harder because in all honesty pokemon games are made for kids so adults kind of took it and they're like you know i want to make it a lot harder so two of the ways you can make it harder are to randomize it using your computer yeah randomizing rom using your computer or doing a nuzlocke challenge on a game that you already own or that you downloaded in rom form so uh the core rules are the nuzlocke challenge has only two rules that must be followed any pokemon that faints is considered dead and must be released or put in pokemon storage system permanently or be migrated or transferred with pokey transfer as long as the pokemon is never able to be used again during this run the player may only catch the first wild Pokemon encountered in each area, and no one, and none, and, bleh, and none other. I guess would actually be the way to say it. If the first wild Pokemon encountered faints or flees, there are no second chances. If the first encounter in the area is a double battle, the player is free to choose which of the two wild Pokemon they would like to catch, but may only catch one. This restriction does not apply to Pokemon able to be captured during static encounters, nor to shiny Pokemon. Other nearly universal rules, which I'll also be using, uh, the player must nickname all of their Pokemon for the sake of forming a stronger emotional bond. The player may only use Pokemon they have captured themselves, meaning Pokemon acquired through trading, mystery gifts, and etc. are prohibited. As for trading and retrading the same Pokemon for the purpose of evolving a Graveler, for example, there are no firm consensus. As of White Hard Mode Episode 3, it is implied the player can accept Pokemon that are received freely from NPCs. The player may not voluntarily reset and reload the game whenever things go wrong. Being able to do so will render all of the other rules pointless. And there are a lot of uh, different kind of rules to increase the difficulty, like for the starter Pokemon. But the randomizer I'm gonna show you today uh, gives you a way to randomize the starters anyway. So uh, we can go ahead and get to the next point of the video which is uh, I'm going to be showing you where I found uh, all the things I needed to download uh, the emulator uh, download the randomizer and even uh, someone else's how-to video we're not gonna watch the whole how-to video on here I'll leave a link down below for all of this stuff so you guys can get to work doing it yourself basically and uh, I just want to give credit where credit is due to uh, the person who uploaded a really easy simple video that I think everybody will find success on all right anyway time to show you guys the video all right so this is uh, United Gamers how to randomize any Pokemon game for generation one through five uh, so the one thing that didn't age well with this video uh, it's about three years old now I think it was yeah it was uploaded October 7th 2017 so basically the only thing that didn't age well with this is I believe Nintendo started uh, like taking down uh, all Pokemon ROMs like aggressively in the past year or so I think not sure uh, but I did find a place that has Pokemon ROMs at least gen 1 through 5 so if you want to hit me up on Twitter at Mavericon, the link will be down in the description below. Uh, the, like I said, this isn't a how-to rather than just showing you where I found this stuff. United Gamer, he's a pretty popular PokeTuber, uh, and I watch his videos often, and I stumbled upon this last night. I had no idea he even had it, so I don't know if you guys are in the same boat. Uh, you've been trying to find a place to find your emulators and uh, a randomizer so you can actually do these things because I mean let's be honest it's really fun to play through a randomized Pokemon game or you probably saw someone playing through one and you've always wanted to do that just like me uh, anyway yeah again United Gamer how to randomize any Pokemon game gen 1 through 5 I will post the link to this video down below 
like I said, everything aged well in this video except for ROMs. You've got uh, the Universal Pokemon game randomizer located on buh, 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 buh. located on pokehacks.debombstew.com slash randomizer slash downloads link will be in the description below and then you have your place for emulators emulatorzone.com so again all these links will be down in the description below um, and definitely, definitely, definitely check out United Gamers' uh, how-to video. I'm not going to get into it because I was struggling, period, because I'm not really a big computer guy. I've been learning a lot of stuff on the fly recently. So go check out his video. He's a lot more informative and technical with everything than I ever could be. Anyway, stay tuned for my first uh, Nuzlocke randomizer. I hope this video uh, helps anyone looking uh, for a way to hop into their first randomized game. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and bye.